Welcome to another Mac 7 tutorial. This is number 30. Multimodal Music Machine. Part 3. Improving the Experience. Alright. It's where we are. It's a big mess, but it's working great, uh, particularly if it's in presentation mode. But when it's not, it is for sure a big mess, and, uh, you know, um, a lot of this is about what we can do to improve this uh, user experience. And so uh, the first thing I can do to improve your user experience is shut that thing off. Um, we did a bunch of stuff to improve this. We got the save button up here, make things easier to manage. We have a real beats per minute here, and we could even label it as such if we were so inclined. And one of the things that kind of strikes me is, like, I really hate these X's all over the place. Um, it's sort of hip in a box-checking way, but not really my idea of a nice-looking button. And so I thought, hey, what if we go, went ahead and put some buttons in here and sort of learn about the buttons? So I'm unlocking the patcher. I'm coming down here. I'm typing new, and I'm typing text button. A text button appears, and I'll make it a little bigger and even zoom in on it so while we're working on it we can enjoy looking at it ever more closely. So there's your text button, basic button, it says button, and uh, as I sometimes do, I'm going to put a message under it just so we can sort of see what it's up to. In fact, this this should require two. Um, so if you click on this button, you get this one says bang when you let off the button, and this one says button when you let off the button. But button isn't just a button. Button can be more things, so many more. So let's go over here to the um, inspector get your inspector up there by pushing the I if you haven't already done it, and highlight your button. And one of the most important things about the button is that it can be more than a button. It can be, uh, if you look under mode over here under value, you can see it says button, but usually we don't use it as a button. We usually, we usually use it as a toggle. So I'll just put it on toggle and then you can see um, if we come back over here and lock our patcher, now when we push on it, um, it says one when we let up, and then button on out the other outlet, and then if we push again, it says zero and just button. So we can make good use of those things. I just realized there's another thing. I hate mouse click up. And that's adjustable in here, so let's go adjust it, because before I go crazy, output mode. But mouse up, we're going to change that to mouse down. And um, I also don't like to truncate the text. I like to be able to write as much as I want to in a button. So I'm going to say no truncation on the text. And um, we can also change our labels. So let's... Um, Let's start with a with a uh, um, audio. How about just a power button? Um, I always put the text all in caps in buttons. Just um, power off in the text off label and power on in the doesn't have to be power on, it could just be on and off. But then I never know whether to click them or not. Um, actually, let's let's deal with that. Let's let's actually come on. I'm just gonna make it on and off. And you you'll understand the problem, but you can also understand how you can change things. Okay, so now when it's on um, when it's off, it sent out a zero. Now I'm going to click on it, and as soon as the mouse goes down, click, 
it sends out a one that's on, and it's on. So if you like that working that way, it's great. You can also get other cues from the colors that you put on the button. So let's go ahead and highlight this. And if you look over here, um, it says use background on color, use text over color, legacy to color text mode. So if you actually click on these, you get more um, color options. Usually you'll see this is not uh, highlighted. I can't remember what they call it when it's the opposite of highlighted. It's deprecated or something, but now it's on. And use the text over color. That gives you another possibility. So if you um, run your mouse over this thing, I'm just going to lock it. No, I didn't lock it. There we go. So now when you roll your mouse over it, it on turns green. Uh, oops, I didn't. And then if the same thing with off. So if you roll over it, that's what that over means. Okay, so now that we know that in the <coughs> in the off position, let's make our button uh, something a little, a little I like the standard palette. Um, and let's make it a dark green button for off. And then when we uh, turn it on, we'll make it a bright green button. And then when the text color is off, we'll make it, yeah, gray is probably good, maybe a something like that. And then when it's on, We'll make it a bright yellow. Let's try white first. The text over color, uh, may as well leave it as yellow. And let's see how our button looks now. We'll just come over here, click, uh, lock the patcher, and do that. Uh, look at that. Bright green on, dark green off. On, off. That word sure is small there. Let's deal with it. Go over here, font size. I know you guys all know this, but I always think it's good to just kind of go over it. That's better. Well, actually, that's so big it'll it'll be... I forgot I made the button really big so we could look at it, but then it does have to actually fit on our keyboard. But as long as we're looking at buttons, let's, uh, let's push it all the way here. Um, and... Oh, no, 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 no. Oops. Grabbed the wrong thing. Um, there... Um, you can get your uh, bold font in case you like the thicker numbers. I always put it in the center. Cool. Um, we've already dealt with all that stuff down there. And up here, I just wanted to see, there it is. Roundness of the corners. This is a nice one. You can um, make your corners quite round. Try typing a 24 in there and watch what happens. Look at those round corners. Doesn't that just make you want to try and see what 50 is? Oops. There we go. How about 60? See how round it gets. Oh, look at that roundness. So if you want a nice uh, round button and, uh, you know, you're not afraid to round your corners, that's a good way to go. So let's um, zoom out here and see what, how we incorporate that. Whoops, I zoomed out a little too far. How do we incorporate that into our uh, machine over here? Well, this X over here, um, unlocking my patcher, is our metronome button. So maybe we could put Oh, look how cute that thing is when it gets small. Maybe we could put an on button there instead. I don't know if I can... Uh... <laughs> there we go, there we go. Little fine tuning adjustments with the arrows. And then where the toggle had been um, putting this out to the metronome. Now you can just have uh, this number 
go out to the metronome, and I'm sure it'll work just as nicely. Now, I'm going to delete the toggle. But the other thing is that we might want to, uh, so that's that's really on just for the for the beat machine. Um, we might want to be able to turn on and off the audio or something like that similarly. So, um, well, we'll just use this for the beat machine for right now, and we'll just make sure it works. So there's E and nope. Oh. on, off. All right. Well, <clears throat> that might be confusing to someone. They might not, they might not like it because it turned, it seems like it's turning the whole machine on and off. And we might want to uh, rethink that. So maybe we'll uh, actually just, actually, I'm going to get rid of this uh, off thing down here because we never use the word off and that'll get rid of all of those uh, extra wires hanging around. So um, to turn on the metronome, maybe we would want to just put something like, uh, you know, beat on over here or something like that. So um, we could duplicate this if we want, or if you already like the color, or you could uh, make a whole new one. I'm going to duplicate this one, bring it down here just to work on it, and stretch it out, make it the right size, maybe make those corners a little smaller. Maybe 20 was the right size. And change the text to read beat on and beat off. Whoops, no, not that at all. Uh, rhythm on and rhythm off. There we go, much better. Uh, drum machine, drum on, drum off, drum, rhythm, R H Y T H M, off, and then we'll put R H Y T H M on. Yes, I did have to look rhythm up. I never spell it right. And now we have uh, another button all ready to go with all the same parameters that we could stick up there on top of our rhythm machine if we wanted. I'm not saying this has the best color coordination of all things on earth. And hook it up like that. And now um, we can use that to All right, nice. You can do the same thing for loop. You can do the same thing for record. Do be careful because each of these, you know, a uh, loop sends out just a one or a zero to wherever it goes. Record the same way, but make sure they're hooked up. Um, actually, record's a little tricky because we can push on the plus and have it um, light up, as I will do right now. Look, there's the plus and the record lights up. So what we need to be able to do is turn it on by sending it a 1. Now let's check that out for a second. I'm just going to bring this guy back down here because nobody's using it and do a quick check on how on earth you turn these things on and off. Let's try sending a 1 and a 0 to a button. Here's a 1. It's on. Here's a zero, off. So it really does operate a lot like a toggle, and we can take advantage of that if we wanted to make this button um, our, our recording button, which, of course, we do. But we don't, uh, boy, those rounded corners, they're just crazy. Um, I'm going to make these 10 because it's going to be a pretty small button, and it's got to be a pretty... Uh, it has to have a fairly small font, and it needs to say now, sometimes 
you just want it to say, like, what can you say about record? Push to record and then push to stop recording? That's a lot of words. So sometimes I just go for the plain old word and let the color tell the story. So here's record again. And when it's recording, when it's off, it's going to be a very, very dull red. And when it's on, it's going to be a very, very bright red. And when the text off is going to be gray. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but well, we'll see. And text on is going to be white and text over. I'm going to make it yellow because I don't like the combination of green with uh, the reds there. And uh, yeah, look at that. So now let's lock our patch and just look at it. So that's off, and I think that's fairly obvious that it's off. And that's on. Nice. And it's probably sending out the appropriate um, uh, messages. So now we can just take this We'll get rid of those two messages there. Substitute these patch chords onto our record. Delete that dumb old toggle. Resize our record button. And put it right back. Whoops. Leave it there for a second and get rid of that. And then put it back up there. Very nice. I mean, that is just so much more professional looking. You have to admit. Let me just use my little arrows to move me around there. And when you do all this stuff, don't forget. Please don't forget, because you don't want to waste all your time and then have stuff move all over the place. Select everything that you want in the presentation carefully. Unclick and re-click. And then everything will stay where it's supposed to be. So let's... Uh, Go ahead and see if this works. Um, I'll try whistling. So I, I realize that there's uh, one thing that can go wrong here, and that is that the, the last thing we used was the bass, which was a very short um, sample. So I'm going to just change it to cello. Make sure the shell is working because it sets the uh, loop in and loop, loop out points, as you might remember. And uh, now let's try, uh, try that whistle again. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it with the equal sign and just see if uh, my equal sign works too. That's nice. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it's pretty it's pretty funny. Um, as soon as it hits the looping point, it sounds like some sort of warbly bird. But um, cool. So um, maybe I just need a little closer on the mic here. We'll try it again. Uh, and I'll even use the equal sign again. A uh, little, little crackly because I'm blown on the microphone, but we'll give it a try here. Oh, volume's down. That's what's going on. Nice. That's fun. Okay, well, that's buttons mostly for today, and uh, now that we've got our buttons working, woo, we can uh, go ahead and 
uh, clean up our patcher, put it in presentation mode, turn the rhythm on, get our whistles going. All right, well, if that doesn't get you thrown out of somewhere, nothing will. Okay, I'll see you next time around, patch well, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.